Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to the second only Harley Davidson breakout, no, black line, black line that we've ever had. And this is a sweet bike, they're pretty rare, you don't see too many of them. We're gonna take a test drive on this. The last one we gave away, this one we're gonna sell. So anyone can get this one. It is in the soft tail family. It's a unique bike. I don't know how many they actually made, but you see a lot of unique things about that center console, jump, flush mount, which you could do for any of these things. I don't know if these are stock bars or not, because ours were a little modified, so I don't know what to compare it to. But each bar, it's not, it's not connected, it's individually. Um, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool looking bike. A lot of cool looking little features. You know, that that's, I think, factory. Um, blacked out motor, blacked out primary, blacked out bottom half of the jugs. I think, as I recall, this replaced, this kind of replaced the, uh, the night train for a little while. Let's take it for a spin. Guys, check this out. I got these cool little sticky notes with Bible verses already printed on them. Let's do words of wisdom. Jeremiah 29 11, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Amen. So the way this, uh, all right, let's get on it. It's a fun bike. So this is your, this is your stereotypical muscle bike stance. You know, kind of like a V. So what is a Street Glide, Honda Rune, Honda Goldwing, BMW K1600 GTL all have in common? One, they're all for sale at my dealership. But two, we would only ever use tank straps to transport these bikes. Check out tank straps, the link's below. They're for sale on Amazon. Your legs are in front. Your arms are facing this way. You're kind of like your head is in front of your your butt. You know what I mean? Very aggressive. Very fun for ripping around, making a lot of noise, like we are gonna do today. It's almost like it's almost like when you're riding like this, you want to drag race everything. You know what I mean? A butterfly! Rah! A caterpillar! Rah! You know, it's a, it's a lot of fun. The moon! Rah! I like these grips. The grips match the pegs. Billet. Billet aluminum. And this bike's got a sweet sound to it. I like them Vincent Hines turn down pipes. It's nice because a lot of people have Harley Davidsons, let's just be honest. But to get a Harley that's a little more you that's significantly more unique, and it's I mean if you show up to a show and you have an ultra classic, that's cool, you know what I mean? You had a great ride, it was comfortable, you love the bike. But everyone else also has an Ultra Classic. You know what I mean? It's cool. You can talk about your Ultra Classic. You can be like, oh, no, I do this with my Ultra Classic. and I love my Ultra. And that's fine. But there's something special about rolling up in a bike that maybe no one's ever seen before. Maybe they're like, oh, I remember when that thing came out. That bike is so cool. As I recall, and I might be wrong, this is the only color scheme this bike ever came out with. So if you see a bike that looks like this color scheme, you know it's a black line. I love it. That that orangey, that dark, like burnt orange color with all that metallic flake and all these real sleek black, um, you know, black lines in it. It's a bike If, if you wanted to, if you wanted to customize your soft tail to look this clean and modified, one, it would 
cost you a decent amount of money to do it. But two, I don't know if you could ever get it as good as you can from the factory, like with these cool... I mean, you could do that. That's, <laughs> anyone could do this. Um, I'm sure you could. There's tons of cool after market parts out there. Black lowers. It's just very, very tasteful. You ride this bike, you demand looks. Everyone's bam doing double takes. Yo, is that a Harley Davidson black line? Let's try the horn. I feel like it should have had a louder horn. It should have been like a train. In the black line, it should have had like a train horn. Top button right here is the tripometer. This bike has 2,029 miles on it. And it tells you how many miles you have left in your tank. Wow, you're taking that wide, man. But other than that, it is your classic soft tail. A little better ride than the Dyna. A little more, a little more comfortable. Man, it is a beautiful day outside. Great day to be riding. all that grass I wonder if that's a sod farm could you take a big trip on the bike like this yeah you could you definitely could you would have a lot of fun doing it a different type of fun than the ultra guys this is more of a riding a bike like this is a little more raw it's a little more like grassroots, and it's more, um, I mean, think about it. Imagine, imagine a guy from the 1960s taking a motorcycle ride across the country. How different is that than you riding a bike like this and going on a trip? You're on the road. You're just dealing with, it's just you and the bike. You, the bike, and the road, and your thoughts. And no radio. No MP3. No, no ABS. No, it's none of that stuff. It's just you and the bike. It's really not that much different. If your grandfather had a motorcycle, and he did a trip from whatever to whatever, you can experience pretty much the exact same thing, you know, except when you fire your bike up, it fires right up. It's not, it's not carbureted anymore. It just fires up. When you're riding a Harley Davidson, you're pretty darn sure the bike's going to run and fire up and not break down. Hey, how, you listen, all bikes break down. You, 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 who's about to make a comment, all bikes break down. Man, it's beautiful out here. But you know that, that's what I love about the about the dinas and the soft tails and stuff, and the and you know also you know, the road king. It's just a simple bike. You and the you and the bike, you and the road. Thinking about it, and if in my case, talking to yourself like a maniac. I forgot to wear boots. I'm gonna go change out my boots. I'm not trying to be a bad example to anybody. I try to never wear sneakers. It's not a it's not the smartest thing to do. Another cool thing about bikes, this bike or any bike, is let's talk about this bike. A lot of modification opportunities. 
If you don't like these drag bar styles, put some mini apes. Put some blacked out mini apes on it. You know what I mean? Get it right about here. If you want a different seat, put a different seat. The options are endless. Literally endless. Yeah. But it's nice when you see a bike that just has some, you know, tasteful, tasteful modifications. And you know the guy spent money on it. This thing is clearly tuned right. Because when I get on it and I get off, it doesn't backfire. It's got an intake, it's got an exhaust. Uh, I don't know, I haven't pulled the seat up, but just from the way it's running, it probably has a tuner underneath the seat. This is the last year of the 96 cubic inch. And if you're not familiar with the 96 cubic inch, uh, it's a great motor. The 96 cubic inch is a great motor. 2,000 miles on this bike is nothing. This bike will do 100K. The question is, okay, here we go. The question is, will you do 100K? That's the big question. Can you do 100K? Your bike can. Like anything, you got to maintain it to do it. But your bike will do it. Will you do it? All right, guys, that wraps it up. This bike is a little low on fuel. Oh, look. It tells me my RPMs. You see that? Oh, it tells me what gear I'm in. Check that out. I never noticed that. That's pretty cool. Maybe more Harleys have that, and I never noticed it. All right, guys, that wraps it up. Remember, it's not what you're riding, but where you're going. We'll see you guys later. And don't forget to check out everything below in the description. What's up, guys? Sean here from SRK Cycles, and thanks for watching the video. Click here to subscribe. Click here to see more content. And as always, click in this, check out the description box to see our latest inventory and our killer deals, to see how to win a free motorcycle, and also to see our latest uh, bikes and beards gear. We'll see you guys later. Remember, it's not what you're riding, but where you're going.